Me Technovation Bahad was founded by Oh Kwang Ing in 2011. The company is in the ATE industry, involved in design, manufacturing and sales of wafer level chip scale packaging sorting machines with inspection and testing capabilities for the semiconductor industry. They also provide maintenance services and technical support for these machines as well as the sales of related spare parts and components. Some of the countries they sell to are Taiwan, which is about 37.8% of the total revenue, followed by China at 28.9%, Korea 13.6%, Malaysia 6.4%, USA 4.6%, and the remainder is other countries contributing 8.7%. For more information, you can visit their website at www.meeq.com. Overall revenue gross profit growth were phenomenal, with a growing demand for their WLSP sorting machines. However, there was a fall in revenue and gross profit in financial end 2016 as a result of lesser sales and more units are used for demonstration and testing. Thus, the sales weren't realized. Likewise, for their operating profit, rising as high as 243% over the years. The drop in operating profit in financial year end 2016 is due to the lower sales stated earlier as well as higher operating expenses. Overall margins were unstable. They started to move downtrend with costs increasing gradually. A sharp fall in NPM for financial year end 2016 as there's more demonstration done during that year, thus less sales are recognized. Mi's ROIC dropped from 170% to as low as 19% due to the increase in capital expenditure over the years. No remuneration data available in financial year end 2014 to 2016. Other than that, the group was very conservative with their remuneration. However, I disliked the inconsistent profit after tax delivery. Very healthy cash to debt ratio. Cash is growing while debt is reducing. A bumpy operating cash flow growth due to their occasional increase in receivables with low payables. High capex incurred in financial year end 2014, 2018 and 2020 in preparation for their business expansion. No information on their dividend per share for financial year end 2014 to 2017. Other than that, dividends were dropping since they started to distribute in financial year end 2018. Very unstable free cash flow growth from positive to negative free cash flow as their company is actively expanding their business. Dividend payout in financial year end 2018 to 2020 is achievable with the large amount of reserves in their company. Overall, I rate their company 3.4 out of 5.6 which is 60.7%, barely survived from the C grading thanks to their healthy cash-to-debt ratio. Based on their financial data, here are my thoughts. Number 1. The company needs to work on their cost and cash flow, as evident with the inconsistent growth in profit margins and operating cash flow. I feel that MISC production utilization rate is low to moderate after the expansion in Batu Kawan. Hopefully, the pan-up demand for semiconductor chips will drive up the utilization rate, ultimately enhancing their profit margins. On a positive note, MeTech is in a well-positioned production capacity size, which can be a major advantage when large orders are placed from their clients. I foresee the inclusion of Acura Scientific will be beneficial for me as both companies' businesses complement with one another. Nevertheless, there may be a risk of rise in overhead costs, which is something they need to look out for. That's all for this video. Appreciate it if you can smash the like and subscribe button. Comment on what company should I analyze next. I'll be happy to share my research and opinion on it. Thanks for watching and till next time.